Welcome back again, friends. It's Savage Sasquatch from GamingReportCard.com, and we are playing Middle Earth Shadows of War. Of course, the follow up to uh, Middle Earth Shadows of Mordor. Um, so, this is obviously a direct sequel put out by Warner Brothers. Um, for those who have played the Batman Arkham games and haven't played these, it's kind of like that combat wise to a certain degree, but it's got like the ability to like stealthily take out foes and there's a lot to it but um the nemesis system i think is the star of the show here where you can um you can take over well you can take over enemies for one but um if you die to enemies or if they escape a battle where you're in it they remember you and may develop strengths or weaknesses based on what happened all right Alright, so we are ready to start our new game. We've been through the options. I've discovered I already love the music for this. So that I am, let's see. So, <laughs> put your test of the skill and experience the full breadth of the Nemesis system. Orcs are smarter and more adaptive, requiring careful consideration of each enemy's weaknesses. Death is guaranteed. Eh, we're not going to bring you guys that experience. Um, this is the storyline one. Um, so yeah, I love, the normal seems fine. The fact that it offers, it says you will probably experience everything the Nemesis system has to offer. That is what we're looking for. So with the Nemesis system, like basically if you like burn a guy with fire. Um, the next time you come against him, he may have a mortal fear of fire, or he may have developed a strength against it, but he will remember that you burned him with fire in your last encounter. Um, but if he was the one who killed you, he may have developed into a boss, whereas uh, previously he may have just been a grunt, or something like that, or moved up the hierarchy within the orc system. So, let's see what it's... let's dive right in and see what this is about. Oh, good, we get a recap. I had a family once. A wife. This is beautiful. And a son. And I buried them along with everyone I even knew. <laughs> what has happened to me? Am I dead? You are banished from death. Cast adrift between the worlds of light and dark. You are bound together, Tally. My life and yours. Who are you, Wraith? I shaped the history of Middle-earth. I crafted the rings of power. Speech of the second age. So long deceived you into making the rings. He tortured both you and your king. Perhaps that pain was my tenacious. I should have died with my family. I thought you wanted revenge. There is only one way to close the circle. To defeat Zala. The time has come for a new ring. Oh. So my understanding is this one, this game may de delve a little farther away. The world of men is ending. I have seen it. Wow, that looks gorgeous. In the fires of Mount Doom, a ranger and a wraith, bound together in death, craft the one thing that could challenge the Dark Lord. A ring of power. The power can blind those who seek it, and even the strongest bonds. 
can be broken. The future I have seen cannot come to pass. Kill it, Brimbo. Death calls to you again, Ranger. How do you answer? Have we lost our bond with Killabrimbor? <laughs> Talion, this is beautiful. Where did you find it? Oh, I still have a few friends left in Gondor. What's wrong, my love? Past is the past. Nothing can be changed. We must leave this place. We can go. No. What's your name? Oh, what it is. The Wraith calls to you. I call to you. Wraith! Where are you? Pretty epic scope for the start of a story. Fires of Mount Doom and snowy peaks. So our goal, our goal here is. But for how long? Yeah, spider there. One of these things looks at me wrong. I'm gonna kill it. last words. Alright, we've amassed a decent number of stealth kills so far. That was really close. I don't know how much longer our stealthing will uh, <laughs> remain, but... So we must get down that far. Eh? Well, at least we can... Wow, apparently we can really jump. So we can drop down on that guy right there. I want to wait to the big guy. Okay, so... Oh. 
So pretty standard combat. Thankfully the uh This is going really well so far. Wish these guys would have kept coming and I could have It's clear. Could have had one big free flow combat. We still got like a 27 or 29 streak on our first dude. And we're off to find Killabrimbor. You know, right from the get-go, everything feels intuitive and, and powerful. Feel like it's Tomb Raider shimmying through narrow ledges like that. A big ugly. I called you here for a reason. I called you here. You will return him to me now. Mm, you are brave. But it is not your sword that will save him. How much are you willing to sacrifice? To suffer. To suffer. I have given up everything. Not everything. Not yet. You want the ring? You would give me the ring? For the ring? and find myself beside him in your web. I am Shelob, and I deal only in truth. Hmm. I wouldn't give it up either. Wait. something to you. <sighs> Go to your puppet before he dies. So basically, if we're separated from Killabrimbor and the ring, we will die. Yeah, this isn't going to go well. The war you came to fight is not here. The ring is lost. So look to Minas Ethel. 
and the Dark Lord's armies that surround it. Look to the Palantir. Sauron will not stop until all of Middle Earth is dominated. The Palantir must be protected. I must know if Shelob's vision holds true. Alright, so we start the, the game and find that Kelebrimbor has been taken and Shelob gets him and we decide to trade the ring that we've just forged to be able to have all the power in order to get him back and now we are basically going without that power back out into the world to try to stop Sauron. All right. I don't even know what the the fire pit is that it's talking about. There's so much to learn about this game, but it looks gorgeous just from the get-go. I mean, the in-game graphics are they're they're all right. I would say, you know, 8 out of 10. Nothing to complain about, but nothing to write home about either. Um, it's a long load screen, though. Hopefully we get a moment here where we can pause and end our video. Alright, so the Siege of Minas Ithil. The spider showed us the truth. Gondor's last fortress in Mordor cannot fall. This is Middle Earth Shadow of War, guys. Hope you're liking the intro here, because I'm super pumped. Uh, make sure to give us a thumbs up. We'd love to hear from you in the comments. And above all, please the subscribe to the channel. Concern. We must seize it before it falls into Sauron's hands. With it, his armies will be unstoppable. The fate of the city matters not. I will not let them be slaughtered like my brothers at the Black Gate. We need to do something. Taking out the captain should buy the Gondorians some time. And they could lead us to the Palantir. We must find a worm and make him talk. So anyway, as I said before, uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel. We'll keep plenty more action from Middle Earth Shadows of War, and Destiny 2, and Fortnite, and Overwatch coming your way. And until next time, this is Savage Sasquatch from GamingReportCard.com, and I am out of here!